All right, guys, welcome to a brand new video today. I was thinking about making a video about sniping and changes that I think snipers need in Destiny 2. And then I started thinking about making a last word video. So I figured because they're virtually the same exact thing, I'm just going to merge them into one video. And here we are. So if you've played Destiny any time in the last three weeks to a month, you would know that you can now run a shotgun sniper or fusion rifle as your secondary weapon. And you spawn in with ammo for this weapon. And then anytime you kill someone else that's running special ammo as well, uh, they drop ammo bricks and depending on what armor you have you're either going to pick up one or two bullets off of their dead body there are some uh, armor perks that you can get that increase the amount of reserve ammo you get once you kill an enemy um, but basically what this has kind of resulted in is a much better meta than we had in year one because it's not four 80 year olds stuck inside of each other shooting you um, you know from the same lane like it's not boring anymore but what I've noticed is that sniping really is even though it is technically possible Possible, there's really no point in using it like there's no point in sniping at all in my opinion like it, it doesn't give you any sort of benefit in my experience when it comes to sniping there's two different play styles there's the play style that's more competitive where you want to focus around yeah, using your primary as much as possible and then only use your use your, la, 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 la. so use your primary as much as possible then only really use your sniper to get picks if you looked at like the if you went to the DTR little weapon spreadsheet page after like a destiny one tournament in year two you'd see that like the best sniper players, the people that had the most success sniping, they weren't picking up, you know, eight to nine kills with a sniper and then, you know, a few with their primary. You know, the, the one to two bullets off spawn in that case where snipers were doing really well in those Destiny 1 tournaments, I don't think they would have performed any differently if they only spawned in with two bullets. Because at the end of the day, the best players were getting like 14 or they're getting like they're getting like eight to 12 last word kills and then like four sniper kills. They're only using their sniper to get picks or to play like the perfect angle where you know somebody's going to be in that lane and that you can get like a side angle on them but for the most part they focus their play style around the last word and if you looked at really good snipers playing rumble and you just got obliterated by some guy in rumble in year one or in destiny one by a sniper right and you went to his dtr page for that match and you looked at the weapon uh kill layout or the kill spread you'd see that like 70% of their kills would be the last word like my best rumble games last word sniping on like a warlock in destiny one were 80% last word kills 20% sniper kills um, so that for this play style right if you had a last word in destiny 2 I don't think sniping would be bad at all I think it would be quite similar to the style of sniping uh, that we would have seen in destiny one and I think people would have been successful with it but when you have snipers that you know you have to pair with like an ace of spades which really is kind of trash for countering shotguns you know you kind of have to you choose the other play style which is just laning stuff and hoping that people are going to walk down that lane and that's more of like a pub match play style that you can use against weaker players when you're going for like montage clips and you can't really go for montage clips and wait for four to five people to run around a corner because you don't spawn in with four to five bullets so it's giving you the amount of ammo you'd need for a more competitive play style where you're only you know pulling out your sniper at the best angle possible when you know you can get a pick um but you don't have a, a weapon to pair with it to counter like sh shotguns so you're just running around getting aped you know by these silverback gorillas running around on the map beating their chest with their shotguns out and you just have no way to counter them and then when you try to snipe them you know or lane something they're just sliding around every corner and because the flinch is so bad in destiny 2 you're just getting flinched out of your mind every single time you lane something so snipers really don't feel like they have a place right now against players that are good at all i started rambling a bit so i kind of want to go back and clarify when you're playing against good players you have to play aggressive to really create those opportunities to get easy snipes you have to be up there with your teammates playing aggressive to find good sniping angles and when you can't do that right you have a primary that can't counter shotguns you're kind of forced to be a little bit more timid and play in the back of the map and when you're playing in the back of the map you're not finding any angle all you're doing is staring down these very predictable lanes that your enemies like if you're if your enemies playing against you they kill you they know you have a sniper they know you spawned up and they see in their radar that you're in the spawn they know that you're going to be sniping they're just going to slide around the one lane to two lanes that you can get to get out of the spawn or that you can use to get out of the spawn right because most most maps don't really have a lot of ways to get out of the spawn they're just going to slide around those corners and then you have no chance to kill them so the, the main point is they need to give you a primary like the last word that allow can allow you to play aggressive while not relying on having a shotgun 
Last word, you could play really aggressive, be up in the middle of the battles, right? And you didn't need to necessarily have a shotgun. And that's what I wanted to show you guys uh, in this Rumble gameplay here, is that I'm playing very aggressive in terms of I'm having a lot of close quarters fights and I'm moving around the map. Maybe not too much because it's Rumble and you want to hold down one central position on the map. Um, but I was able to find good sniper angles and maintain good positions because I had a weapon that could defend myself at a close range against the shotgun. If you weren't paying perfect attention the whole entire time throughout the video, this may have seemed very messy and you might be a little bit confused. The main point is, snipers, in order to work well in Destiny 2 with only having two bullets off spawn, they need to have a weapon that can be good close quarters that can, they can play aggressive with, or else they're kind of just going to be stuck hard scoping in their spawn, which is really easy to counter if you're running like an ace of spades and a shotgun, because there's only a few lanes people can really look out of, out of spawn, so if they know you're sniping, they know you spawned up on one side of the map, they just slide light around that corner of the lane that they can see that you're peeking because they're looking on the radar and then you just get flinched to oblivion and you can't kill them so unless they want to give snipers a lot more ammo off spawn and encourage the more pub style of play where you're going for montage clips I highly recommend and I heard rumors that last word is coming a triple had said that like he was at PAX or something talking to a bungee dev and he said something about last word coming and like the bungee dev like smiled and winked or some, something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it's some sort of, you know, suggestive action going on in terms of the facial expression that the bungee employee was donning upon his face. Um, so hopefully it comes soon within this DLC. There might be some sort of special event because I know they want to parse like parcel out content and keep the game as lively as possible. So maybe in a, like a few weeks or a month. There'll be some sort of event or some sort of thing where this quest pops up and then whoop de doo we all have last words. Sniping is saved. Yay! Main reason I felt inspired to make this video is because of the whole Summit thing. If you missed it, Summit has been playing Destiny 2 on Twitch. If you didn't know who Summit is or you don't know who Summit is, he's like a really big Twitch streamer. He's been streaming on Twitch for like at least four centuries now. And he was getting really mad because he kept getting shotgun aped. And this is something that I was very... You know, although <laughs> what he said was a little extreme about us hoping that the game dies and that our community dies. Um, Players like that can't aim to save their lives, but they can shotgun all fluff and day. And the community loves that skill ceiling. The grandma level skill ceiling that we got going on here. Your fucking community sucks. Cock. I hope your game dies. Good luck. You know, he did have a point in the sense that there is a lot of mindless shotgunning going on. Unless you're really experienced with the game, it can be extremely frustrating to deal with. Um, and I think the main problem after watching him is just that he didn't have a last word. There are a lot of situations where he's getting the guy to like no health, right? Close range, the guy slides at him, he hits like two headshots, but he can't shoot the third bullet in time and he just doesn't kill him quick enough and the guy shot against him. So for all those situations, I feel like if he had a last word, he would have come out on top. So I feel like the sniping problem where sniping is pretty much not being used at all in Destiny 2 could be remedied by the addition of last word. And I pray that last word gets added just because it's such a fun gun to use and I feel like Destiny could use a little bit of that flavor uh, in their game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you are, <laughs> if you are already subbed to my YouTube channel and you want to make sure that my videos pop up in your sub box, all you have to do is go next to the sub button and click on the bell to enable post notifications. And upon doing that, my videos should actually pop up in your sub box every time because apparently the sub button is not enough uh, anymore to do that for some stupid reason. But you know, YouTube knows what they're doing. Uh, so, so we'll leave it to them. So you guys think Last Word should be in Destiny 2? Do you think you'd snipe more often if it was in Destiny 2? Also, there's a Destiny 2 tournament coming up. So if you'd like to see me play in that, just type something in the comments related like, oh, I want to see you play in the tournament or something along those lines. And, um, you know, hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video, dude. Peace.